Hey, it's Kyle, and uh, I've been making a video every single day for quite a while after meditating or connecting in a different way. And today, um, an idea came through <clears throat> that I had to share because I'm starting to make new videos on how to move from a place of hate and resistance into a place of love, passion, all these things. And I'm doing it because I'm learning it myself. All these things that are showing up are callings that show up in me. And today I was working out and something showed up in me that was so exciting and so obvious that I almost left the gym early and ran home to record this. And while I was on my way, all these other ideas showed up in it. It's like once you have one idea, once you follow that excitement, another idea, another idea shows up and supports it. And so many things came through. But what came up for me today was talking about the idea of removing all of the figurative fat in your life. Like even on just one obvious level, like if you look in your closet, most people have in their closet 80% of the clothes they don't wear. These clothes have just been sitting there, right? And for some reason we're scared to let go of those things. And we don't realize that if we let go of those things, they would get so much more use. Like you'd feel so good knowing that these 50 shirts or pairs of pants that don't fit anymore, you don't wear anymore, were being used by someone else. And it would also create space in your closet. It would create space for so many new things. You could only have clothes that you want. And I was thinking to myself, why do we not let go of those? And I realized because a lot of the things that are the fat in our life, they support our past story. Um, those clothes are fat, they're unnecessary. They're things in our life that we don't need. They aren't supporting our calling, something that really moves us and makes us wanna go somewhere else and, and do something with our life. We don't realize that life was handing us um, life in a way that we're like an elevator that's always trying to go up right? But we keep stopping at a floor because we think our identity is this old story. So for instance, if you think your identity, maybe you got love once because there was a day where you scored several touchdowns in a football game, or maybe you, you know, think who you are is this person who made a lot of money once, or this person who dated someone and then they loved you. And so when they let go, you're scared to let go of that old story because you think that's your identity. And if you think of a floor of, of a giant building that you're in an elevator going up, but this floor is where this identity is. This is the floor that's the story of, you know, I got the four touchdowns and I got the, you know, this story, this story, this story. I get love when I'm on this floor. Well, obviously you'd be scared to get in the elevator. You'd be scared to go back up. So we start to do things that support the floor versus support you in the elevator. In the elevator is infinite ideas. In the elevator is total fulfillment. In the elevator is a releasing of old stories. The elevator is this whole thing. Almost all of us don't live in the elevator. We get off on a floor that doesn't fulfill us. And part of the reason so many of us are depressed or anxiety ridden or addicted is because we aren't listening to the calling of the natural growth and evolution that we're supposed to be experiencing. We're busy holding on to an old story way beyond how long it's needed. So there's things on that floor. Maybe you inherited something, but you don't feel fulfilled with that stuff. So this floor is like you feel guilty letting go of it. There's a feeling that you're scared to feel if you let go of the fat in your life. But if you did, you would cry, you'd say goodbye to this old identity, this old floor, and you'd get in the elevator and you'd go up. So there's so many things that we have in our life that you can tell are fat in our life because they're more of an addiction than fulfilling. You know it's a calling if it's fulfilling, if it's something that you have to do because it would affect the world. You know it's your calling when it's selfless. In a way, it's selfish that helps you become selfless. Like you can see that it would be fulfilling for you to create something, but you'd make something for the world that would be much better. So if you think to yourself like, okay, I'm gonna try to make a million dollars today, you can feel that here. But if you feel, you know, I'm going to make sure that a million trees don't get cut down in this life, you suddenly feel called and all the hows will show up. Well, that's going on the elevator. But a lot of times to do that, you have to let go of the old story. And we're so scared to let go of the fat in our lives, the meaningless friendships that aren't the ones that fulfill you, that aren't the ones that add to your life, they're the ones that take from you and make you feel bad or put you down. 
They're the ones that the things in your life, the jobs that don't fulfill you, just the old time killers that don't fulfill you, Facebook, that's that all, unless Facebook is being used towards your intention, like if you feel a calling and you want to make a video and put that on Facebook or you feel something that will impact the world, that's a different thing. But if you're just spending all day on Facebook, making stuff go out to in, meaning like I want to consume as much as possible, I want to get as much as possible, you're not going to feel fulfilled. So when you get on the elevator, you suddenly start to realize that your body and your heart and all the stuff is connected when you stop holding on to this floor. And most of us are living life like it's training wheels on a bike. And we never, ever take the training wheels off. We hold on to this old story. Well, I inherited this thing even though I don't want it. I'd feel guilty letting go of it. I have all this stuff. I have all these clothes in my closet that don't fulfill me. Why do we hold on to that? Because the fat on the outside of our life represent the fat on the inside of our minds. Our minds have so many unnecessary thoughts because they're supported on the level of that one old story floor and your old identity that you had in your childhood, then what you are is guided, is fully flowing, is free. That's who you actually are. But if you live your life with training wheels on your bike, you never get to experience actually riding a bike. And you have train. a lot of us have training wheels on our life. And every day I discover new training wheels that I didn't realize I was holding on to. And then when I let go of it, insights like this show up and videos get made like this. And I get passionate about this because it kills me to see so many people. And it kills me because sometimes I'm doing it too. So many people living life, holding on, you know, the biggest way to have people be able to control you and sell you stuff and everything is keep you on that floor. If they keep you on your floor instead of in the elevator, you'll constantly feel not fulfilled. When you're not fulfilled, you look for addiction. So that's the way to get you to buy things that you don't need and keep bringing things onto that floor. When you understand what you are, you have this call. And by the way, the calling, people go, I'd love to do this calling, but I got to make money. This is always what I hear. I can't afford it. I blah, blah, blah. No, you have been blowing your money on all the crap that supports this one floor. You're spending your money on the addictions. How many things and foods do you buy that aren't your body's highest calling? So now you're paying for food that doesn't fulfill you, but it supports your old story. Like these are the cheese sticks that I had with my mom when I was a kid. So I'm associating that I get love here because I don't understand that I am love. So you're buying this stuff and then you have to spend more money on all kinds of stuff that keeps you in that same addictive state. Higher doctor bills, you have more, you know, have to go through different types of therapy and blood pressure medication and all these things that support the addictive behavior. When you let go of the things, some things, you don't have to do all of it. Just let go of one fat thing today in your life. One, you know, one bag of clothes that doesn't fulfill you. Think about this. If you have an attic of like a hundred boxes that you haven't used in 10 years, in the last 10 years, you've never got to experience life without those things there. And maybe your body and your heart would let go of the weight of those things and the elevator could start to go up because it's not carrying the weight of your entire past and your family's past and your parents' past, everything like that. You are, and I am, this infinite being. And the more, people always go, well, I'm trying to find my purpose. Here's how you do it. You let go of the fat in your life. What are the relationships that don't fulfill you? What is the activities that don't fulfill you? What are the thoughts that don't fulfill you? The thoughts are only held there because you have an outside world of nothing going on. So your thoughts have a lot of nothing going on and they're blocking you from the calling. There's training wheels all over here. But when you let go of the bags of clothes out of the, you know, and the, the bags of, of all the stuff, the job that doesn't fulfill you, the relationship, all these things that doesn't fulfill you. If it brings you into your soul, keep it. If it's a purpose, that's different. If it's a relationship that enhances your life, hell yeah, keep that. Because what we're here to do is find out what we really are, not keep holding on to the old story. So if it's an addiction, it keeps you in your old story and it gives you permission to stay the same. If it's a calling, it pulls you way out of your old story and it adds to your life and it can be sad because you're letting go of the old story, but crying is letting go of that old story so you can step into what you are. So just a quick thought that came through me that I had to get out on video. 
cut the fat out of your life, even if it's just one thing today and then another thing tomorrow.